Hi, Tammy's dog training here. A lot of you are struggling to keep your pups entertained when you need some time to yourself. Whether it's time you want to have a cuppa or to get on with some work. There are plenty of ways to do this. One very simple way is to change the way you, you feed your dog. Let's look at your dog's food dish. If you have a puppy who loves his food, you put the food dish down and the food's gone within a few minutes. What if we can make this longer? Keep your dog occupied for a lot longer. It's the difference between you gulping a sandwich down quickly or going out with friends for a meal. You savour the meal. It'll last a lot longer and you enjoy it even more. There's several ways to do this with your pup without sending them out to the restaurant. One way to keep your dog occupied is to use a Kong. It can take up to 30 minutes for your dog to eat his dinner. Start off by associating the Kong with something good. Scatter a few pieces of food around the Kong. Put a few dry pieces inside. Make it easy for your dog at first. Then gradually make it harder. You can wet the food and pack it in. Over time, you can pack it in harder and harder. Eventually, you can freeze it. Just remember the Kong is not a toy, it's not something to be left down. So once it's empty, you pick it up, clean it and put it out of sight. Think of all the times you can make use of this. When you go out, if your puppy is trying to get his meal out of the Kong, he can't be barking or eating your furniture. Dogs are like men, they can't multitask. When you're eating your dinner, instead of feeding your pup before or after your dinner, why not give him the Kong at the same time? If he's occupied with his own dinner, he's not going to be pestering you for yours. When you have people round, don't feed him before they come. Put his meal in the, in the Kong. Let him have his Kong when you've got people round. Once again, it's keep, keeping him occupied. If you want some time to yourself, you want to watch that all-important episode of Corey. Yes, I have very intellectual viewing. So use it to your advantage. Put it down when you want a bit of time. If he's taken longer to eat his meal, he, he's busy. It's giving him something to do. Pups need occupying. The snuffle mat is another brilliant idea. Most dogs love this. It's using their natural instincts of sniffing out things. You hide their dinner um, amongst these soft fleece or treats or some tasty morsels. They can spend ages sniffing it out. This is really good uh, good idea to slow down um, their dinner. It's washable and it dries really really quickly because it's nice soft fleece. I do recommend this to be used under supervision only because the backing is rubber and some dogs will like to chew the rubber. So this one is definitely for under supervision um, only. These come in all different um, sizes and colours. Not that that makes much difference to your dogs, they just like what you put um, inside. But once again, use these. this as the Kong when people come, when you want a bit of time to yourself, or just generally making their dinner last that little bit longer. If you don't want the rubber on the snuffer mats, there's a snuffle pocket balls. Once again, you just put the uh, treats or, or the kibble in the little pockets and the dogs have to sniff them out. These are really handy, they just throw through the washing machine and come out almost dry. Then we have the snuffle balls. These are quite a fun item. You can hide a, a few treats in it, but the dogs do tend to like to pick these up and throw them around. So it can be a, a fun game that you can play with your dog as well as using it to hide the food. Most dogs absolutely love these. These come in a couple of sizes and different colours.
there's lots of different things you can use um, take the licky mat you can put yogurt on it dog gravy mashed up fruit anything that your dog likes once again you can freeze these keeps your dog busy licking can cool cool them down um, on a hot summer's day there's so many different things you can do here There's lots of different things you can use to keep your dog occupied. You don't even need to buy anything. A cardboard box. Hide a few treats in the cardboard box. Dogs love to stick their nose in and sniff around. It might mean you have to increase your alcohol intake though. But hey. At the end of the day, there's so much you can give your dog to keep them occupied. Slow their eating down and keep them busy. In this short video, we've just outlined a, a few different ways. If it's a nice day, grab a handful of kibble. Throw it out on the grass. Let them use their natural instincts of sniffing out their food. If they're busy, they're out of your hair. You'll need a bit of time away from your pup sometimes. And we all need to look at different ways of keeping them occupied.